are sitting here at Boots and Hearts with Country Boys with the wonderful Wes Mack. How are you doing? It's a very nice sort of alliteration going on there. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> good. I ain't looking for a good girl. I like a little You have a lot going on. Not only are you you're just on the verge of releasing your first debut album. Yeah. You were just on tour with Shania Twain. True. You directed your own music video. And you're an actor in your music video. It's true. What else do you what, what do you not do? Um Makeup probably. Yeah, I'm not great at makeup. No. He's uh, not a makeup artist. Nope. You can't hire for that. that uh, I'm not the best answer. Not the best answer. I doubt that. I really do <laughs> doubt that. So, how, first of all, let's start with the Shania Twain tour. How was that? What was the most memorable experience on that tour? I think for me, we go midway through the tour. Uh, I was lucky enough to get to sing with her every day. Sing with her every day, which is fairly insane. So, enough you were to, like Billy. Uh, yeah, I was, I was hoping, I was curious if it was going to open with her being like, Hey Wes, having a party and I was just like come? falling out on stage and they were like, oh, it's not cool at all. Oh. But it was the end of playing it one night and we both were sort of, you know, waving to the crowd and she accidentally pulled out my like in-ear monitor thing from the, from the wireless pack. So we were done singing, so it's not a huge deal, but I'm st still supposed to uh, talk to the crowd for, for a second after that. And so I couldn't hear uh, myself at all, so I pulled out my ears and it was the first time uh, I'd heard the full volume of the crowd with like nothing in my ears. And it was, I, I just stopped and stood there for a couple of days. It was a very strange feeling. Yeah, yeah it, it still looking back on it doesn't feel particularly real because she is sort of nothing short of like a living legend. Uh, and to have her standing beside you and just Singing like interacting with you. Yeah, it's, uh, it was just, I was just really lucky to be there. That's awesome. That's such a, as an artist, you know, I'm like, oh, that would be just my heart beats <laughs> and it is so excited for you. You're on the verge of releasing your first album. Tell us about your first album. Favorite experiences, maybe some of your favorite songs. Well, I mean, for me, it's, it's been a long process in that we started this back in 2012. And that was, I would have had, at the time, no record label, no management, no agent, uh, and very little money. Uh, <laughs> and just sort of pieced together what I could to record one or two songs, and we did two. And of those, one of them was Duet, Duet. Uh, which is you know the beginning of my career. And that was with Carly McKillop. <coughs> was indeed. Yes. Uh, fantastic job, and that's how I got to meet her. Um, I guess I've known her for a while before then, but we get to hang out a lot as a result of that. That's song. awesome. But you know, as a result of that, uh, got to sort of build a team and spend the next three years going down to Nashville and writing here in Canada and putting together an album and, and really sort of slow picking away at it, being like, well, what are the best possible songs we can put together? Uh, to finally have that done, it's it's a cool feeling, and I, and I feel like for for fans of it, it'll kind of be a bit of a journey in that like some of the songs were were fully written and recorded uh, like to their completion and mix back in 2012. I didn't want to go back and change them. Uh, like it was contemplated, like oh, do you want to re-sing any of that? Like you feel like your voice has changed, you know? and and it has. But I like the idea that it goes on a bit of a. If you listen to that album. You can kind of hear the whole thing. You can hear it. Yeah. You're probably your writing change. Totally. I know from ages, probably like age, you know, for myself, 18 to 20, you write totally different in a matter of two years. Totally. And totally. It's still you, but it's it's more such a cool experience, and I'm super excited to sit down and that when this album comes out and listen through it. Get in my truck and come around, girl. Call me up, call me up. Cause, girl, I love the way.